morning. My name is Paul Cleveland, Dr. Paul Cleveland. I'm with Boundary Stone and uh, our organization's aiming to provide you resources to equip you to engage with uh, your world that's oftentimes very confusing and hard to navigate through. Um, today I'd like to talk a little bit about uh, economic prosperity. Um, I mean, don't you want to um, be economically prosperous in your life and and to succeed uh, and have um, uh, be able to achieve more of the things that you desire. Well, I think we all do. I certainly do. And um, you know, so the question then is that I want to raise today is: Does morality matter? Hmm. Well, I would say that it makes a great deal of difference because uh, until we begin to interact with one another in moral ways, I think what we're going to find is we're going to be thwarted in our attempts to achieve those things that we really want the most. Uh, Jesus in his Sermon on the Mount said, you know, seek first the kingdom of heaven and his righteousness and all the things that we want will be added unto us. Hmm. Well, that's an interesting concept. Uh, think about that for a moment. Uh, you know, the uh, in the scriptures, there are two great commandments. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and all your mind. And then to love your neighbor as yourself. Well, let's think about that second one, loving your neighbor as yourself. Then, you know, that golden rule, uh, do unto others as you want them to do unto you, becomes kind of important. And uh, so if we want to live at peace uh, with one another, then we want to treat people the way that we would like to be treated ourselves. Uh, certainly you wouldn't want uh, somebody breaking in and stealing your, your things. You wouldn't want them uh, committing violent acts against you in particular ways. You wouldn't want those things. And so uh, reasonably, we shouldn't be thinking about or trying to do those things to other people. And, uh, and so when we give our word that we're going to do something for someone, the right thing to do is to carry through and do it uh, and to keep our promises. Uh, one way that's put is let your yes be yes and your no be no. And um, so, you know, it, think about how an economy would function if people just did what they said they were going to do and didn't try to uh, defraud one another, didn't try to uh, uh, manipulate one another into ways that would be to the other person's ill and to your benefit. You know, and economists look at this and they go, well, wait a second, you know, real mutually agreeable trade is beneficial to both parties. That's why we do it. And in fact, most of the things that we trade for with one another, uh, we're, we're happy with. We're happy with what we got. Now, occasionally we make mistakes uh, when we buy things that really we thought were one thing and they turned out to be something else. But that's, that's not the rule, that's the exception. And so the thing is that economies will function best when uh, we embrace morality uh, in our personal lives and then we carry that into our dealings, economic dealings with one another in production and trade. And then we prosper most uh, as a result of doing it that way. Well, I hope this has been helpful to you. Uh, certainly, I think we all want to live in a world with greater peace and tranquility. And I uh, hope you see why morality, personal morality, matters. Okay, this is Dr. Paul Cleveland once again with Boundary Stone. And uh, check out our website, uh, boundarystone.org. Uh, we have resources that uh, there that will help you kind of understand your world and to be able to uh, be better equipped to engage with it. Uh, so I'll see you next time. Bye.